This quick video explains some of the problems that I've had with the setup of the production version of the Things Network Gateway. I did have some issues with my backers version, but this is now working perfectly, connected and acknowledged at TTN. This experience is therefore confined to my current state as of the 10th of February 2018. All of the versions of the hardware and software are displayed clearly in the video. So let's try and keep as closely as possible to the guidance given to the newbie installer of the gateway. The simple setup suggests that the antenna should be connected and only then the power applied to the gateway. This protects the RF module from damage. It's a point well made that aerials should not be removed from any radio equipment whilst the units are operational. My complete setup is seen here. The basic idea of the setup procedure, as I understand it, is to connect via Wi-Fi to the gateway, insert some simple configuration details that allow it to adapt to local settings, and connect the gateway to the internet. All further setup, configuration and updates can then be accomplished online. A factory fresh gateway will default into a Wi-Fi access point mode, allowing any local machines to associate with it. This involves disconnecting the local machine from any existing Wi-Fi connection and searching for one entitled Things Gateway XXXXX, where the 12 X's are a string of hexadecimal numbers, hopefully the correct gateway. Click to begin the connection. Enter the password the Things to complete the association process. When the connection is completed, you may be warned that although the connection has been made and secured, that there is no internet access. This means that the gateway can't yet see the internet, which is all quite usual, and the reason for the next step. As a diversion, not in the standard setup details, you could head for http colon slash slash 192.168.84.1 slash info, which should produce this confirmation page displaying the details of the gateway and also proves the connection. Now link to http colon slash slash 192.168.84.1 to access the formal initial gateway setup input page. This requests your name for the gateway and details as to how to connect it to the local Wi-Fi. There are some simple gotchas here that are not protected against in the forms. Avoid some simple issues by entering a name that is of six characters or more, avoiding capitals, no spaces or any punctuation. Next, select your Wi-Fi access point from the pull-down and then enter the password for that point. I've noticed that a gateway will not connect to an open point with no password set as a security mode. Once entered and selected, press the green Save button and the connection should be lost, but is explained in this screen. What has happened here is that the gateway has dropped the AP connection to you and changed its status to being a client on your local Wi-Fi. The gateway will just sit there, and if you've removed the cover, you should see two solid blue lights and the third flashing five times a second. It's a call to home. So far, so good. Your local machine now has to be reassociated back to your previous local Wi-Fi again, and may already be configured to do this automatically. With normal service resumed on your local machine, prove the reconnection to the internet by entering http colon slash slash ttn dot fyi slash activate. You'll automatically be redirected to a secure link. To see this page, scroll down and click on this activate link, just under the gateway image to reveal this page. The green button now says register or log in. This is the next critical point for new users. You have to have a Things Network account before you can register a gateway in any meaningful way. If you do not have an account, open a new browser and click on the sign up button and complete the edifying process, selecting your username, entering your email address and required password. Keep logged in on this browser and return to the activate screen seen a moment ago, connected to https slash slash activate.thethingsnetwork.org. Now click on the register or login button, enter your credentials if challenged. You should enter this gateway activation screen with your details shown at the top right hand side corner of the screen and this friendly welcome message. Click on let's get started. Here are the four steps required to activate and connect your gateway. As another aside, if you have already registered the gateway, you can select it by clicking this link here. You may need to come back to this point at a later date. For a new gateway, enter the unique identifier, just the name you gave to your gateway and select the frequency plan from the pull-down. Leave this auto-update gateway checked in its default state. If all is well, the register gateway button turns green, so press it. In the background, whilst we have been dithering around swapping Wi-Fi access points, reconnecting, logging in and registering, etc., your gateway has been impatiently trying to link to the Things network. So, in this instance, the delay that can occur at this stage should be very short, and connection made almost instantaneously. 
See this screen displaying the fact that the gateway has been registered. Note the term registered. As another aside, you can go to your console at https colon slash slash console dot the things network dot org dot gateways and see your new gateway there on the list. But back to the task in hand. Back to this screen. Note the address at the top, activate.thethingsnetwork.org slash gateway ID, your gateway name. Press the green continue button to reveal this configure screen. As this is the quick and dirty short connection, we will leave the connection mode for the gateway as Wi-Fi. My array of errors when trying to connect the Ethernet port are covered elsewhere. We are reconfirming the details to be sent back to the configuration of the gateway here. Re-enter the details and these are successfully written back as here. Now, for one final stage, the gateway now has to reconnect as a full participant in the Things Network world. It can take a little time, 